Sometimes we wonder if God fully accepts us. And if he does, on what basis does he do so? Salvation is not something we earn. Yahweh loved us first. Yahweh reached out to us first. So what he sets as the requisites for salvation are what counts, not what we think or feel, especially when our thoughts and feelings don't line up with his God's Word is the place to go to find out what God thinks about us. Let's go back to Ephesians 1, for starters. Yahweh chose us in Him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and blameless before Him. In love, He predestined us for adoption to Himself as sons through Messiah Yeshua according to the purpose of His will, to the praise of His glorious grace, with which He has blessed us in the beloved Yeshua. Ephesians 1, verses 4 through 6. Every true believer is accepted by Father Yahweh in Messiah. Romans 5, 1. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, We have peace with God through our Lord Yeshua, Messiah. Yahweh made a way for us to be in a relationship with Him because He wanted it. He doesn't wait for us to clean up our lives first. He takes us as we are. Romans 5.8 But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Messiah died for us. What good news! I could never make myself clean enough to stand before Father Yahweh on my own. And I don't have to. Yahweh loved us first. Yahweh reached out to us first. So, my acceptance to Yahweh is totally based on what He did, not my attempts to make myself acceptable to Him. In Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, we are reminded, For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of work, so that no one may boast. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. Yahweh's basis must be our basis for acceptance. There is no other. Our Father is fully satisfied with His beloved Son's sacrifice on our behalf, and there is no reason for us not to be also. Our satisfaction can only spring from and rest in His satisfaction. It is from God to us, not from us to God. Our human nature may try to get us to reason on our own whether Yahweh will accept us. To do so means you are looking for righteousness in yourself as grounds of acceptance with Him. But salvation begins with Yahweh. He loved us first. So there is no way to look to your own ability for righteousness and acceptance. Since I can't do anything to earn my salvation, and if I could, it would no longer be a gift. It makes sense that I can't do anything to unearn it. However, if I am truly His, I will want His precious gift and will not let anything keep me out of fellowship with the Father. When I mess up and break His commands or mistreat His creations, His people, our loving Father always provides a way back to Him. We have to be honest with Him and honest with ourselves and admit our mess-ups. We read it in 1 John 1, 7-9. If we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Yeshua His Son cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, 
We deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We are made in the image of God. Genesis 1.26 He chose us to be conformed to the image of His Son. Romans 8.28-31 says, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose, for those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Yahweh did it all. Look at that passage. He called you. He knew you from the beginning. Psalm 139, 13 says, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. He knew you from the beginning. He planned for you to reflect the image of his son. He called you to be his. He justified you when you received Messiah Yeshua as your Lord and Savior and King. And he is glorifying you so you will clearly reflect the one in whose image you were made. Yahweh will clean out everything in us that doesn't look like him. So his image is clearly visible in each of his children. He loves us too much to do any less. Proverbs 3, 11 and 12. My son, do not despise Yahweh's discipline and do not resent his rebuke. Because Yahweh disciplines those he loves as a father, the son he delights in. When I understand the depths of his love for me, I will welcome and embrace my father who disciplines me. Those who have the deepest appreciation of grace do not continue in sin. Moreover, fear produces the obedience of slaves. Love engenders the obedience of sons. 1 John 5, 3 says, In fact, this is love for God, to keep His commands, and His commands are not burdensome. We can know that He has accepted us. We don't have to wonder. His word is true. 2 Thessalonians 2, 16 and 17. May our Lord Yeshua Messiah himself and God our Father who loved us and by his grace gave us eternal encouragement and good hope encourage your hearts and strengthen you in every good deed and word. What a wonderful, loving Father. And you are His. Rest in it, rejoice in it, and be at peace. Amen. See you next time.